Another good fish. Oh, come here, fish. Brush bumping, timber touching, for some good crappies. Let's get them in the box. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, this video, uh, our content's gonna be centered around targeting crappies uh, during cold fronts. I had a, a couple of questions uh, about barometric pressure and how it affects the fish and uh, can we catch fish doing low pressure uh, fronts? And uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Can we catch fish uh, when the pressure changes? Yes, do we have to adjust our tactics? Absolutely. And so I'm going to share with you uh, a few key things to keep in mind uh, when you're targeting crappies uh, during cold front, guys, that if you put into practice, you should be able to get some fish in the boat. So as always, let's get a few fish in the boat, and I'm going to tell you all about it. There's one there. Uh -huh. Come on up here, fella. Yes, please. See some fish for our first one here. Get them down here. I don't have my mic today, so I'm gonna have to speak a little bit louder. Check that guy out. Look at that guy, huh? Look at that guy. Very nice, very nice. Go ahead and get him in the box. Another decent one. Again, I apologize if you can't hear me, guys. I left my mic at home, but take a look. Take a look at another decent fish, and uh, he wanted that lure, didn't he? Good fish, folks. During cold fronts, one of the things that we want to consider doing is changing up our lure uh, type and lure size, and even color. Uh, when the barometric pressure changes, it affects the fish's attitude towards feeding. Uh, and so one of the things that we can do to entice them uh, to strike or to feed uh, is to change up our lure size and lure color. Uh, the uh, atmosphere right now, that there's a, a cloud cover uh, right now, not a lot of sunlight in the area. And so I've chosen to go with a high-vis jig head and somewhat of a dull, a dull body uh, to start out uh, this afternoon uh, getting strikes on the fish. We've got two nice fish in the boat right now, but uh, just wanted to show that first uh, tip to consider that when you're targeting uh, fish and they're a bit finicky, one of the ways to get them uh, to strike uh, is to change up uh, lure color. So don't be afraid. If you, you go out, you scan uh, the area, you see fish in the area, and they're not biting, the pressure changes really does cause the fish to, to hold in tight and affects their, their attitude towards feeding. Uh, so don't be afraid to switch up lure color, uh, lure type, and even lure size, uh, especially as the water temperature begins to, to, to get a little bit cooler. Maybe even consider uh, changing that uh, these two inch minnows, maybe even down to uh, something a bit smaller uh, during the winter time. And keep doing that until you get the fish to strike. Let's get back to fishing. There's one there. Another decent fish, guys. Another decent fish. Let's get him in the box. There's one there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good fish here. Woo, good fish here. Good fish here. Good fish here. The size of this pig here. Oh, good fish. Hog fish. Hog fish. Hog fish. Right there, guys. Hog fish there. Good fish. Let's get him in the box. 
All right, folks, so another thing to consider doing when you're targeting crappies uh, during cold fronts is something that I call timber touching and brush bumping. Uh, what does that mean? Take a look at this image. You'll see that uh, this, this particular area of cover is loaded with crappies. And uh, right where that red arrow is, uh, there are limbs, or the red arrows, there's limbs uh, coming off of this piece of cover. And what am I actually doing uh, when the fish get finicky and they, they're, not, they're not really uh, as active, what I'm doing is I'm taking my plastics and I'm bumping them against the structure, tapping it against uh, the, the, uh, the limbs and the pieces of cover that are offshoots uh, off the overall brush pile down there to trigger uh, the strike. So along with changing up the presentation in terms of how fast we allow it to move through the water column, uh, changing up to maybe a slower speed, changing the size and color of the presentation. We can also add touching the timber uh, or bumping the brush with our presentation to trigger uh, the crappies uh, to strike. Will you get hung up sometimes? Absolutely. Will you catch some nicer fish sometime? Absolutely. And so it's just uh, another, a couple of things to put together, to put this profile together of how we target crappies uh, during uh, during cold front. Uh, hopefully it works for you. Go out, give it a shot. Leave me a comment uh, if you got any questions about it, and I will get back to you. Let's get back to fishing. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. Another good fish. Another good fish. Oh, come here, fish. Brush bumping. Timber touching. For some good crappies. Let's get them in the box. Another one here. A little bit small. Go ahead and get him back. He's on the top jig. And again, the jigs I'm using today, guys. Pink jig heads. Uh, pink, sorry. Pink jig heads. Uh, 1 16th ounce to get this guy back in the water. I'm using the Vegas pattern Baby Shad by Bobby Garland and the Ghost pattern uh, by Bobby Garland as well. And that's all we've used today. And during cold fronts when we've got uh, virtually, virtually cloud cover uh, and no sunlight, I always go to a dull high-vis pattern, uh, especially after cold fronts. All right, that's one there. One up here. Another decent one. Woo! Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yes, 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 yes. Indeed, indeed. Good fish. One there, caught him high, caught him high. Woo! Woo! Come on up here, fella. Good fish. Another good fish. So guys, we're going to go ahead and stop here. Thanks so much for joining us today. We had a nice day out on the water. Uh, and again, just wanted to put a short segment together uh, to show how I approach or to give an approach and a couple of things that you can consider uh, doing and adding to your arsenal when you're targeting crappie after a cold front, during a cold front. I had a, a subscriber uh, ask me a question about barometric pressure. Uh, does it change the fish? Absolutely. They, their feeding habits and how they feed and how they approach feeding, it really does. It causes them to hold a little bit tighter to the structure. But if you change up the colors, uh, change up your presentation, maybe even uh, change the size of your lures and timber touch a little bit, you can up your catch ratios uh, for crappies doing cold fronts. Guys, thanks so much for joining us uh, today. If you're enjoying the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Go out, get a line in the water, enjoy yourself fishing, and we'll see you along the way.